So, hello everyone, Dylan here with my first LEGO Star Wars Summer 2021 review, and this time it is, and this one is on the Duel on Mandalore set. And also to note that I do have the whole wave of the Summer 2021 set, so which, so expect some every other day, of course. And so, on the front of the box here, you see the LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, and that uh, board that we've seen since last summer, and a uh, three, three, Three three second trooper there. Picture of the, everything in the set in action and the two mini figs included with the set and age recommendation is seven and up. Set number seven five three one zero has one hundred forty seven pieces. Interesting artwork on the side, of course, which they're still doing. <coughs> and you see it in other positions, all the features of it, of course, and. Mall in the vault, of course. And so now onto the booklet, which quite small it is. Just maybe they're just trying to save some paper on instructions or whatever. Or but anyways, on the front of it, same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. Add for the Skywalker Saga game, and add for the minifig list of that comes with each set in this current wave, of course. Then add for some other sets of this current summer wave and last year's summer wave. Kind of odd how or whatever, but whatever. And the final building steps, of course. So now on to the mini. -fig of it. Pan down just to scooch. Okay. There we go. First of all, so we which have Ahsoka, which same versions as last year's AAT set, of course, and all new version of Darth Maul. So like as you see, face printing and top headpiece, same as it's been for quite a few years, and whereas torso print, of which all new and like prints all new and exclusive to him. And also which really well captures his appearance in Cold Wars, of course. And of course double headed lightsaber, like he always had. And here's their back torso print, both of which done quite good. And Ahsoka's, of which also still the same, of course. And although, see, both of which quite nice figs to get here. But of course, this is which good cheap way to get Ahsoka if you weren't able to afford the AAT set. But yeah. And first off for the builds is this Mandalore vault here. You see the front panel of which is just a complete sticker, but quite accurate to how it looks in the show, of course. It's with the Mandalorian helmet in the center and all the uh, writing, of course, and of course clear bit in it, which you'll see in a moment, and also the button thing on the side, also a sticker. There's quite a lot of stickers in this set, and as you see, about three studs thick. And on the back, just uh, two or two by two by five bricks for that, of course. And top part, basic, so kind of simple but well effective build, of course. And you can open it up like so. And also, see, there's two single studs on there that was to fit your Darth Maul minifig into. And fits quite well. And if you can kind of see that he does, he is seeing out of there, of course. Just about like in the show, obviously. And so now, next to which is Mandalore Vault or Throne, of course. Which, quite simple, small build, but of course, like these, uh, like the last two of these uh, $20 dual sets, of course. 
So like nice use of those like lining bricks. Well, facing this way, quite nice for that. And also, as you see, how the corner brick pieces, plate pieces, is and also the throne of which has some good use of the like cheap slope pieces, of course, and few studs to fit whatever fig you want on there. And also, do you get the like new leaf pieces in orange? Very nice and not very common, of course. And also long bricks akin, of course. But also you can, but also with clear stickers on them, and they do look quite nice for that. And if you look from the back, you see quite vacant. But it's kind of how it goes sometimes. And if you wonder what these Technic hinge pieces for, which we'll see in a second. <laughs> And then, of course, some more of those jacket slopes on top, of course. And for the main feature is, if you, like, get a fig and you knock it through it, and just knocks it right forward, right down, of course. But of course, representing most of these scenes in Season 7 and for that, and it does work well. And, uh, what else is there to say? Also, in turn... See, just a single bit of snot in this set, and that is just for these uh, uh, side bricks with these uh, one by two plates, of course. So what else is there? Not much, but yeah. And so now on to the final verdict. This, I think, a, a quite good set for this wave. Like, of course, cheaper way to get to Ahsoka, or cheapest way to get to the new Ahsoka, and also all new version of Darth Maul, and some good uh, pieces that are now in a cheap set for a good price, of course. There's, well, such as these leaf pieces and these clear pieces, of course. And, of course, this with some good parts of Clone War Season 7, of course. And although some good effective greebling all over, of course, and yeah. And of course, even though it may be a little smaller than the last couple of dual sets that we've had, but at least still well effective as those two, but yeah. And so now if you if y'all are looking to get this set, then definitely get it. And if you are looking to get any set for a small cheap price out of this wave, then definitely get this one. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.